What level is that one? Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> You've got to be fucking kidding me. Holy crap. Okay, so there's two 145s over here. What's up, guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Ragnarok Season 2. That's right, you guys, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you find yourself to be enjoying today's video, let me know what your favorite part of it is down there in the comment section. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. So guys, welcome, welcome back. And happy Wednesday, everybody. Almost freaking Friday, everybody. Just keep on going. So today, today is the day after we got through the labyrinth on Ragnarok Season 2. And I gotta say, getting past that freaking labyrinth was amazing. It felt so... Okay, I just pooped. <laughs> getting past that felt so damn good. It actually felt like we got through the jumping puzzle on the center. But having gotten through the jumping puzzle on the center before, I felt this was even better. So... With that being said, what exactly are we doing in today's episode, guys? Well, today, today we're heading out into the Death Sands to tame ourselves something or a couple things that we haven't gotten in this season yet, and that's mantises. However, there is a little bit of prep work we need to do in order to, 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 to tame these mantises. So what that prep work is, is we need to get ourselves some citronal seeds. Because we need to use the dead courtyard that we have over at the Palasal to go ahead and grow just a little bit of citronal. That way, we can use some bug spray. So the bug spray costs this. Let's see. B, a U, a G. So let's see what we got. We have four citronal, two narcotic, six pelt hair or wool, and four rock carrot. Now the rock carrot, we could actually just not even worry about having to plant it. Because we could fly out into the Scotland biome and grab ourselves some rock carrot out there. Now I've yet to find a place where citronal naturally grows. So there may actually be a place on Ragnarok where you can pick, up, uh, pick citronal from the ground. But either way... It wouldn't hurt to have at least some of the seeds for citronal, and in fact, we may even have some inside of our seed box over at the Palasal. Let's go ahead and check this out, shall we? We'll check this together. And please don't die. Nailed it. I'm amazing. But it is Wednesday, guys, which means I'm going to need to have to ask you guys for some new challenges to do for Challenge Friday coming up this Friday. So if you guys are new to the channel, or you're new to this whole entire idea, on Fridays, I want to start doing some challenges until the end of Ragnarok Season 2. And I'm thinking it's going to be pretty freaking sweet. So give me some challenges down there, guys. If you don't mind, I would love to try some of them. Now let's see. That is Cashew, Camellia Tea, Citronel Seeds. There we go. So we'll go and grab three of those bad boys, and I believe I have some more fertilizer somewhere, but let's go and get these seeds growing, or get these seeds planted, and we'll get all the stuff we need for uh, bug spray, and then we'll go out and try and tame ourselves some mantises, guys. Okie dokie, so hello, once again, sorry I didn't record my face for the first <laughs> for the first bit of the video, I just forgot to hit record on the, uh, the webcam, but I'm here, <laughs> so we're out here today on the back of Cartman. Yes, indeed. So I decided instead of taking out one of the wolves or one of the, you know, the horses or something like that, or even the thylacolios, we would probably honestly be safer taking this big boy out there because in the event of there being any death worms or any overwhelming amounts of mantises or arthropleuras and stuff like that, we needed a backup plan in order to beat the shit out of them, and this big guy is going to do it for us. So on my inventory, I have 10 bug spray and... <coughs> Oh god, sucked an air down the wrong tube. Two, or let's see, 20 deathworm horns, as well as 10, 10 bug spray. Good god, good one, right? Nice and professional. Very nice and professional. But, I'm thinking we're gonna be just fine. Now, I'm not sure about the mantis situation out there. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I mean, I've seen it before, but I don't know what the levels are gonna look like. You know, they could just all be weak sauce, you know, and that would not be a good thing. But, we'll just have to wait and see what's out there. But, hello there. What do we have for... Our direwolf, level 95, which, by the way, we have all three names for all of the other direwolves. Now, let's see if I can remember them off the top of my head. So, we have Cujo from Mike Keller. We have uh, Akila from Jacob Randall. And we have, oh, that's right, Hircine from, let's see, Carson Sanders. And who's the other person? I am so sorry, I forgot your name. Let's see. 
We got Carson Sanders and Aiden Nip. That's right, Aiden Nip and Carson Sanders for here scene. So thank you so much for that. And then for our mammoth, I decided to go with the name Peaches from Kyle Cugini. So thank you guys so freaking much for all of those names. I very much appreciate it. But I'm going to go ahead and run my little butt on over into the Death Sands. And then I think what we're going to do is we're just going to have him follow us. We're going to be off of the, uh, we're going to be off the Megatherium, just running, running around down there at risk to the Death Worms. You know, that's just how I like to play my games, you know? All right. So we are out here in the Death Sands now, and we have the Megatherium right behind us. And he's even got the bug bonus right now, so we're pretty good. If a Death Worm were to pop out right now, though, I'm pretty sure I could kiss my ass goodbye. Now, there is actually a challenge on the table that involves me being out here in primitive flak armor with a pike, uh, suggested by, I think, Big Block, who told me to go pike a Death Worm to death. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Love you so much. But, who knows? We may end up doing that this Friday. I'm not sure, though. But... Let's see, the Mantis situation out here is a little bit scarce, I'm not gonna lie. Not John scarce, but it's a tad bit scarce. Let me see. Any other little Mantis buddies want to come out and say hey? No? Well, it is like dead out here. Dun dun dun. Just kidding. Because <laughs> it is called the Death Sands. Alright, let's see. Are you still behind me, Cartman? You fat ass. What you doing? Freaking face. Don't look at me with that damn face. Alright, let's see. You know, being out here in the Death Sands really honestly reminds me of being in the in the sands of Scorched Earth. And I cut... Oh, that's not... Oh, that's really not good. That's a 130 freaking giga. No, 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 no. But what I was saying is I kind of missed Scorched Earth. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was an interesting map. I don't know if I'd ever do another series on it just because it was really kind of... It's a cool map, but it's too scarce. Whereas with Ragnarok, you get everything. You get the center, you get, oh, hello there, there's one. You get basically the center, you get the island, and you get Scorched Earth. So it's all three maps in one. Now, we're going for decently leveled mantises. So this level 60 that's chilling right here, or level 90 or whatever the hell it was, I'm going to go ahead and feed that to Cartman. You go for it, Mr. Sir. Level 276, get your ass over there. ba dum ba da da ba ba da da ba 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 da da ba 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 da There you go. One shot at that one. Oh my Jesus! What level is that one? Level 60, okay. What level is this one? Level 55? Oh my Jesus, he's getting gangbanged right now. Come on, Cartman, you're smarter than this, you piece of crap. Let's see, let's try and help him out a little bit. What is he doing? He's not even, like, attacking anything. The hell are you doing, you dumb thing? God, I gotta help you. If you want something done, you gotta do it to himself! Oh my fucking Jesus Christ! <sighs> fucking hell, the thing just jumped at me. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I hate those freaking mantises. And why am I going after them? Well, mantises are just a lot of fun to have because they're good for base defense as well as riding them and just having a whole lot of fun because you can put freaking swords in their hands. Literally, you can put swords in their hands of whatever quality you want. And it's kind of fun to watch. But then again, we can't ride them because the saddles are still not available in Primitive Plus, which is really stupid, actually. You know, Ark has been out for a long freaking time. Not to mention it's been in... Uh, early access for a long freaking time, and Primitive Plus is no different. So I'm not really sure as to why the saddles are not a thing in Primitive Plus. Not really sure. But I guess that's just gonna have to be something we wait for yet again. But let's see. I'm not seeing any other freaking mantises. While we're out here, we may as well do a little bit of looking around for some red drops as well. Because you never know what you'll find out here in the desert. Although I don't know all the spawns. Don't know where all the spawns are at, just because I haven't bothered to look for them all. <laughs> just drops dead because it was on fire. Okay, I'm just waiting for a death worm to spawn because I'm a tad bit afraid. I have an ascendant helmet on, so that may be able to protect me a little bit. And I still have bug spray on, so it might not get angry at me. Which is what I would be hoping for. Stop it. Damn thing. But okay, I'm going to do a little bit of looking around out here, guys, for some more mantises. And we'll see if we can't find ourselves a decently leveled one. Oh my god. Hello there, beautifuls. So we got a level 135 and a level 140 over there, but they are currently getting mauled to death by a god dang Titanoboa. Let's see, we need to get that snake out of there. Can I hit him? Oh, that was right behind him. God dang it. Alright, so I still have my bug spray on, so we're fine on that front. I still have my full ghillie suit on, so that is good. Oh, just one shot his ass. Holy crap. Alright, now let's get those little bugs away from there, too. Okay, looks like they're going to do it for me. There we go. That hit him, but it didn't register. That's fine, too. There we go. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and get you. Oh, my God. I am such a freaking sniper. Uh, okay, wait. Come here. Come here, big guy. Come here, Cartman. Come here, Cartman. Please come towards me. 
Alright, so we have 180 seconds worth of bug spray left. We have the thing on the bar. Game time, guys. Game time. Here we go. This is the 135 or the 140? 135. Okay, they're, they're mate boosted too, so we're going to get instant mate boost. Granted, bugs can't mate, which is unfortunate, but, you know, such is life. Okay, don't you look at me, you god dang thing. You and your damn beady ass eyes. Alright. Gonna sneak up behind him and stick a horn up its butt. No, come here. Oh my god, it's gonna take multiples. Are you kidding me? I wasn't expecting that. I don't like that. Oh, for hell, Jesus. Oh, the other one's gonna take even more then. God dang it. We're out here by big block space, so I'm not I'm not worried about death worms. Or maybe I should be, I have no idea. Oh, I hate these freaking things and their dangly ass little hands. Okay, his buddy's coming over to investigate what's going on. He smells the bug spray. He's like, what the hell is that? All right, let's see. Are you ready to eat there another, another worm there or another horn there, big girl? No? You okay? That's, uh -huh. I don't like being sandwiched between these two. Cartman's just out there twiddling his god dang thumbs. Freaking thing. Where the hell you think you're going, you damn thing? Don't you fuck this up for me, Cartman. Don't you do it, Cartman. Look at him just sitting there like a god dang idiot. <laughs> I'm just chilling. <laughs> All right, let's see. I just need to sneak up behind this thing and stick one more horn in its butt and we'll be fine. And then the other one, the other one I'm going to have to do the same. Oh, hello, other mantises. What do we have? Level 55 garbage. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Are you ready to have another horn up your butt? Nope, it's it's still not ready. Man, these things these things look really creepy up close, especially when they're not yours. Oh my Jesus, it's like over there by him. I'm a little bit worried. Hello there, Mr. Dung Beetle. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Level 135, hot damn. Alright. God, my voice just keeps cracking. It's so bad. It's so bad. Alright, come here, big guy. Come here. You need another horn up your butt? Not yet. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Take your time. I wonder why it's taking so god dang long. 140. I would like to find another one, honestly. Like, even after we tame that one over there, that would be kind of cool if we could find, like, a 150 or something like that. Have a 135, a 140, a 150. Have all the freaking mantises in the world. But okay, I'm going to stay here and follow this thing and stick horns up its butt, and uh, then I'll tame the other one, and we'll see if we can't find any more. Holy freaking Jesus, Ascendant Beelzebufo saddle and an Ascendant Mosasaur platform saddle that is completely unbuildable. Holy god dang. Now, I had to go in and bring over the, the 135 Mantis as well as Cartman over here because the 140, it was like 3,000 feet away from the god dang Mantis that we just tamed and it found it out. I don't know what the hell happened. It was in its aggro range, apparently, so we had to run it over here. But the 140 is now over here by Big Block Space, so we're going to go ahead and make this stuff up and get this big guy tamed, and then we'll be good to go. But let's see how many it's going to take to get this one. I see you, you and your, dan your damn dangly bits. Okay, it's still going to take two, so we'll be good to go. Oh, hello there, little... Hello! Level 145 Mantis. I am. I may be dying of water or uh, dehydration, but that's okay. Oh, and I think there's a heat wave coming. Oh, no, it's a storm. Oh, lovely, lovely water is coming, boys and girls. Lovely, lovely water is a coming. Now, I'm not sure if there's going to be any death worm spawns over here. I'm very much hoping so. Oh, no, this is not... Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. We need to run back to death, uh, to death blocks base. Good one. To big blocks base because this is not water. This is a, uh, a heat storm or a, uh, a heat wave. It's now 117 degrees Fahrenheit in this death sands area. And I'm wearing Ascendant Gilly, and there's a little flame down there. That's bad. <laughs> That's a bad thing. But I think... I'm trying to remember. I think he... Oh, there's a water bug right there. I'm pretty sure Big Block has his door unlocked, though. Because he has kind of a guest room. <laughs> so I may have to use his water tap. But this may save my life right here. Come here, little water jug bug. Thank you. Oh, good. I have full water now. Perfect. There we go. Now, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be fine. But that 145, that 145 Mantis, I kind of really want. Because we have the 135, we have the 140, but I want the 145. Because that's the closest we're going to get to 150 out of all of the freaking Mantises that we've seen. So, let's see. Bug Spray has been equipped. We are good to go. Oh, hello. Okay, we really need to be careful over here. What level is this one? Level 15? What level is that one? Whoa, 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 what? 
You've got to be fucking kidding me. Holy crap. Okay, so there's two 145s over here. Okay, I'll take it. I will take that shit and run with it. You kidding me? Let's get them both going at the same time. 71% on that one. And let's go ahead and run on over here and see what we got as far as taming this one goes. Because if we can get both of those, oh my Jesus, that'll be amazing. It is 121. For God's sake, dude. Okay. So, oh. Uh, the hell you at? Oh, God. <sighs> Freaking hell, he made his damn scary ass noise. And he wasn't even worried about me. It's about this god dang vulture and this snake. Freaking thing. Gotta light this damn thing on fire. There we go. And the snake should be dead here momentarily. And it's dead. Okay there, Mr. Mantis. Can I be your friend? Would you like to be a friend? Do you have a friend in me? I think you do. I think you do. Let's go and sneak up behind you. And stick a worm, stick a worm horn in your butt. Alright, so I'm gonna try and tame both of these mantises up at this same exact time. Um, that one over there, though, is gonna cause some trouble as soon as we tame the 145 that's over there. Uh, but it should be okay. It's only level 15, so it's not like it can do a whole, whole lot. Okay, so a little bit of a problem. Uh, actually, no, not so much of a problem. It's about to rain, which I'm gonna be very, very happy about. But, uh, the other 145, it may or may not be dead because I kinda accidentally killed it because it was being attacked by vultures and I lit it on fire and it burned to death. But that is quite okay. That's quite alright. At least I think it's gonna rain. The clouds were moving as if it was going to rain, so I hope it does. But once again, the vulture is the bane of my goddamn existence. And it's dead. Okay, good. But it doesn't help that that level 15 is right on top of my 145 that I want. But I have a window right there. And I have to take it. 122 seconds worth of bug spray left. Don't turn around. Do not turn around! Okay, it must have... It must... The taming effectiveness must have worn off. Because it no longer is... It's no longer a thing. I was no longer taming it, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, since this one is so far away, I'm going to take a shot. Okay, good. I killed it in one shot. That's what I wanted, because then I was going to... Oh, my Jesus! It didn't like that! No, it did not! It hates me now. You little son of a bitch. Freaking hell. I, I, I thought if I attacked... I must have still been mate boosted. That's probably what happened. I thought if I attacked it, killed it in one shot, I'd be fine. But, I guess not. So, let's see. Is it still chasing after me? Yeah, it's still chasing after me. God dang it. Freaking, freaking mantises, man. We may just have to call it off from that. Jesus. Okay, but it doesn't look like it's going to rain. The clouds were moving as if it was going to rain, which is why I was, like, super happy. But I can't find an oasis out here, so I may have to take another trip over to Big Blog's house. But let's see. What do we got? Level 15 garbage. But okay. I'm going to try. Mother trucker just ate that like a god dang Twinkie. That one, too. <laughs> Did you see that Matrix move? Oh, I, th I know you saw it. But okay, I'm going to see if I can't tame this one, guys. Uh, hopefully I can. It's that 145 that's still chasing me. Oh, it's it's ag it's not aggroed anymore. It is not aggroed anymore, but as soon as it gets over to this dead body, it's going to want some of that. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to survive off the water jug bugs out here, which is fine. we got 26 seconds. Oh, he still doesn't, he doesn't want to eat anything just yet. I need to go get some water from this bad boy over here, and then we'll be okay to, to, to go. That's an oil jug bug. I need this water jug bug. You were going to save my life there, Mr. Sir. I need your butt. Give me your butt. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to see if I can tame it, guys. Nope. Had to light it on fire because it got attacked by more freaking vultures. Of course. Isn't that just great? Just my freaking luck. But I think with that, you guys, we're going to have to go ahead and end off today's episode right here because what I wanted to do, I accomplished, and I am oh so happy about that. So I got myself two brand new mantises, and I'm pretty happy about that. But I'm going to need some help from you guys. What are some amazing names that you can give me for our brand new mantises? And give me some name suggestions down there in the comment section, guys, if you don't mind. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. No more smashing it. Too many broken phone screens. Just a little bit of a love tap. And if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. And guys, I will see you in the next video.